The Biden administration is implementing a new rule that will significantly increase the number of gun sales subject to background checks. According to the Department of Justice, the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act of 2022 gave them the authority to expand the definition of engaging in the business of firearms dealing to cover all persons who devote time, attention and labor to dealing in firearms as a regular course of trade or business to predominantly earn a profit through the repetitive purchase and sale of firearms. This new rule will require everyone who fits in that category to register as a licensed firearm dealer and therefore conduct background checks when they sell a weapon. It will also close the gun show loophole. Under this regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the Internet, at a gun show, or at a brick-and-mortar store. If you sell guns predominantly to earn a profit, you must be licensed and you must conduct background checks. The DOJ estimates there are over 20,000 unlicensed sellers who will need to register under the new rule. Congress passed the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act in the wake of mass shootings, including Uvalde, Buffalo, Santa Fe, and Parkland. Fifteen Senate Republicans joined with every Democrat to get the controversial bill over the finish line. One Republican who helped pass the bill is not happy with the change and says it goes too far. When you have partisan hacks in the Biden administration go as far as they did with this bill, now you understand why Second Amendment bills only happen once in a generation. I understand that there are people engaged in the business and they should be held to the same uh, standards that gun dealers are in terms of background checks. It simply went too far. Although Democrats who voted for the law support this move, Senator Mark Warner said in a statement, I'm glad to see this law take another concrete step forward and close a loophole that allowed some individuals to attain firearms without a background check. This is another key step forward to preventing needless violence and making our community safer. President Biden wants to implement universal background checks but has not been able to get such a measure pushed through Congress. Both sides believe Second Amendment issues like this one will impact voters in the November elections. They're going to do anything they can. They're going to have a very anti-Second Amendment uh, approach and, and policies that reflect that. So I don't think any of that comes as a big surprise, uh, which is, you know, why uh, elections matter.